forget you. We're back here in the studio with Janelle Cesaro, and Janelle is a community resource uh, coordinator. staff coordinator. Mm -hmm and uh, actually right here in this neighborhood. But um, Janelle, welcome. Thank and you. she's here with a baseball outfit on. We'll talk about that in a minute, yeah. but uh, let's talk about the other things you're here for. Okay, well, I'm just gonna do a little bit of an update. Um, we have a, many things going on at the end of March, beginning of April. And one of the things I wanted to talk about that I'm very happy about this year is the wonderful turnout we've had for the AARP Tax Help. Um, AARP, I coordinate with them. Mm -hmm. This is a group of volunteers, they're all volunteers, and they work for the AARP Tax Aid Foundation. Mm -hmm. So this foundation is uh, composed of volunteers, and they don't just come to Greenspring. You can go all over the state and find them, mm -hmm. and the nation. Um, but we started bringing them in last year, and they come to Greenspring and provide a free service for residents. They help residents do their taxes and they file immediately electronically for them. So they do it, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so far we've had two days where we've had to cancel. One was of course the flu ban, and two was last week's surprise snowstorm. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy to say we have at least 82 residents who've had their taxes mm -hmm. done so mm -hmm. far. And we're winding down, um, they're coming, they come every Wednesday and they're coming tomorrow to Village Square Classroom. We've got fully booked a day. They're doing 18 people a day, mm -hmm. which is a lot. Um, they're bringing in eight or nine volunteers tomorrow to make sure that they can get them all done on time. Um, and we have a few spots left on April 11th. Okay. I have about 10 spots left and that is it. So if anyone still needs their taxes done, you should call me immediately. Mm -hmm. 604-4270 so I can sign you up. It's a first come first serve. Mm -hmm. So April 11th is all I have left for appointments. Well that's a very valued um, activity and yes. I'm so glad they're coming uh, back. They weren't able to help me because I had a special trust thing that yes. they couldn't do but yes. they would have if they could have. <laughs> and, and Community Resources sponsors it and we basically get them lunch and provide uh, this setting uh -huh. for them, and they're, they love coming here. They yeah. said that Green Spring treats them very well, Yeah. So, uh, and they really enjoy helping the residents. You know, that's one thing about many outside people who come in. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, the voting, uh, you know, when we have the voting yes. days and providing lunch for the volunteers who yes. work, uh, work the polls. Yes. That's uh, some of whom are residents, but mm -hmm. some aren't. Mm -hmm. and. I understand that a lot of outside people, they want to be assigned to Greenspring. You yes, know, so. yeah, they really like yeah. coming here. Yeah. And I have to say, uh, Kathleen Henry does an incredible job organizing that. Yes, of course. She, I always say that she should be on community resources. So she's such a good event planner. Yeah. She's so yeah. organized and those things run so smoothly and we help her, but she right. drives it. Yeah, Resident, right. she drives it. So. I know she does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very valued there. Yes. Okay, AARP Tax Services yes. is coming up on its end because the reason is because tax filing date is yes, coming up. It is. On the what, 17th of I April? I think it's the 17th yeah. because the 15th, which is what I always think of as tax day. It is, really. Uh, I think that's on the weekend. Uh, Saturday. It's a weekend, right. yeah, yeah. So I think you're right. Yes. But obviously, I'm not here only to talk about AARP. <laughs> I'm not wearing an AARP jersey. <laughs> I, I heard somebody said you were a fan of the Washington team. A little baseball bit. Baseball team. A little bit. <laughs> I see your office when I go yes, by. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm a big fan, and um, I'm very excited that baseball season is starting again. I actually have to shift my whole routine in the evenings when baseball season starts, and pretty much I stop cleaning my house from, you know, April to October as much <laughs> as I normally do because I get so distracted. But I'm not the only Nats fan. There are so many Nats fans yes, here at are. Green Spring. And knowing that this is the third annual uh, Community Resources and Dining Services sponsored Nats event coming up. Uh -huh. So I'm here to talk about that. Good. Get on with it. All right. <laughs> so um, the reason why I'm here today is to emphasize that you have to sign up for this event. It's an RSVP event and you have until Thursday, March 29th, this Thursday to RSVP. You can either call me at 604-4270, Janelle, or you can use the yellow form that I put in everyone's mailboxes 
I think about two weeks ago, um, and give me the form. And it's really important that people understand that this event is not something that you can just walk in. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is we are asking residents who sign up, it is a lunch as well as viewing the game on the big screen. And so to And it's being held. It's in Hunter's Crossing, Hunter's Crossing. Mm -hmm. on Thursday, April 5th. Mm -hmm. And the lunch starts at noon and the game starts at 105 and they're playing the New York Mets. Uh -huh. So when you sign up with me, I have a sheet and you can bring a guest. I've had a lot of people ask, can I bring a guest? And you can either use for yourself, you can use a flex meal. For your guests, you can either use another flex meal, or this year, uh, catering said you can pay cash for your guest right. or use a check. So you have options, but we need a head count. Mm -hmm. And so when the, ga the day of the game arrives, um, we don't want people to just walk in. We had that happen last year. People said, well, can I just come in and watch the game? And my answer is, no, because we are asking everyone else to sign up and use a flex meal, and it really is a fairness issue for mm -hmm. the residents. We're mm -hmm. not trying to deny people the joy of watching the game, mm -hmm. but because it is a lunch and a viewing. So I just want everyone to come, but just all you have to do is sign up with mm -hmm. me first. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it's going to be great. I'm not even sure yet who the starting pitcher is for that game. It's typically the home opener. It's typically been Steven Strasburg. Yes. Uh, but you know, you've got Max Scherzer too, who won the Cy Young Award last year again. So we'll see. Well, you know all those names. I'm sitting here. <laughs> now, uh, Strasburg, I've heard of. Yes. But, um, probably because I know there's a city named that or something. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not. You know, I love watching the World Series. For uh -huh. instance, when it gets to that point. Well, let me, watching, let me tell you something, you know. Fran. I was just reading that Sports Illustrated this year predicted that the Nationals will win the World Series and beat the Yankees. Woo. That's the prediction. Now, they have predicted us to win before, and there's always a joke about, you know, we get so far and then we blow it in the playoffs, but I'm being positive this year. I think I'm going with the Nationals World Series. You know, well, you were speaking, I heard some noise from the peanut gallery. Yes. Uh, yelling about, I think they support the Cubs or yes. something. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a, that's a, <laughs> just background noise back there. No, I, you know, Diane, Diane, the manager of the TV station, you know, she had her year she was cheering on her cubs but this is our year so. all right all right and i know a lot of my fellow residents will agree with me well when you have a party <laughs> for your success i'll come to the party okay okay that's great um you know your enthusiasm is i don't know whether it comes before the residents because many residents yeah. here just love the Nats yes. and and love the redskins yeah. in fact when they're playing but, yeah um yeah, when you look at ledge, you know, outside our doors, oh, we yeah. have those ledges yeah. where people put, you know, memorabilia or whatever, and you'll see a well, lot of that kind of thing. I think baseball just unifies a lot of people. Um, when I go, I go to a lot of the games at the Nats Park, and you see all ages, yeah. uh, lots of men and women, genders, you know, it's, yeah. it's such a fun experience. And, um, you know, a lot of the women here, a lot of the female residents Absolutely. are really big fans, yeah. too. So um, I know they're all going to be out. And please, everyone who comes, please dress in your Nats gear. If you don't have Nats shirt or hat, you can wear red, white, and blue. Uh -huh. So we've got a great room full of uh, fans. I'm so excited about it. I cannot wait. Oh, good. So make sure we film the lunch so we can show it on Channel 6. Yes. Uh, you know, speaking of the women, my, I'm the youngest. I have, I had five sisters older than I, but my one of my older sisters, Margaret, she, uh, we we lived in Washington D.C. and at that time, the senators, the senators were the, right. the name of the team, and my sister tells stories about having skipped school to go to the. Uh, they'd get. On some days they had Ladies' Day for 25 cents. You could get into the, uh, uh, the field, whatever yeah. you call it, the arena, to watch the game. And she would skip school and get into trouble all the time about that. Well, spe you know, the first actual game of the season is this Thursday. I believe they're playing Cincinnati, and it starts at like four o'clock or something. I might have to skip out of my you office might, a little early. You might have a headache all of a sudden. <laughs> I might have home. to leave early that day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I understand. I mean, I do because my sister was just such a fan yes. of, of the team. Um, you know, we're coming down to the end, but, you know, a little earlier uh, when we had Lynn Keefe on, she was talking about the coordination of the calendars, mm -hmm. and, and I said, uh, 
you know, we coordinate things generally, the residents do, through the community resource people. And she said, and so I just want to say to the community that uh, Janelle has been very uh, significant in the scheduling of all the rehearsals mm -hmm. and the scheduling of the theater mm -hmm. for uh, our upcoming play in May. Yes. The Green Spring Players play, I should say. Yes. And uh, the name of it is Everybody Loves Opal, and it's a marvelous, marvelous play. I read the uh, the plot summary of it, and it sounds really fun. It is. It, uh, it is. sounds like a really fun play, and I know it's coming up mid-May. Yes. Um, the 15th it sounds is really, opening. really funny. Yeah. The premise yeah. of it, and I, the people in it. I know Sue Frankie's in it again. Yeah. Carolyn's in it. Carolyn, how do you pronounce her last name? Boobin? Uh, Carol Boobin is yes. the director. Oh, she's the director. Okay. Yeah, and um, playing the role of Opal is Jane Ford. Oh, she's perfect for that. You cannot beat that. She's perfect for that. And, and the, Jane and Caroline, uh, the, the uh, director, they'll be on Channel 6 in a week or so, oh, a good. couple weeks, oh, good. to give a little plug for the show. Are they going to bring a wagon? I don't know if they'll <laughs> bring a little red wagon or not, but anyway. Uh, I know a lot of people are looking forward to seeing that yeah and they they work so hard I know because I schedule all the rehearsals yeah and I see how much time they put into it for yeah. months yeah. and then the people that build the set it is an extraordinary effort by a lot yeah. of people and I always hear great things about the place yeah here. their hearts are in it yes that's the that's the thing it's yes. what they like to do yes it's only one of the many resident driven events that are here yeah we, we've been in the green spring players have been in business now this is our 15th year wow yeah that's amazing started in 03 so. someone was rec trying to recruit me uh, early on to be in the play and yeah I, I think I get stage fright I don't know if I could do it it'd be fun <laughs> we often have had staff and yeah. Sue Frankie has of course been uh, one of our stalwart yes you know uh, actors yes so anyway, somebody said last night at the meeting that, oh, the, the director said Sue Frankie was a perfect one because uh, they needed somebody who was, uh, uh, what did they say, uh, uh, like trashy, um, all these words that the don't, opposite that, of Sue. That don't, uh, yes, it, the opposite it just of Sue. Laugh, made us all <laughs> laugh, you know. But. She's my hall neighbor. I love Sue. Yeah. Listen, thank you so much for coming today. You're welcome. And you've and encouraged people in many different ways taxes baseball and the play green tree it's an exciting players. time of the year it is thank you you're welcome okay